Welcome to the BizCrom Media channel, everyone, where we are dedicated to helping you with digital marketing strategies and digital tools. In today's tutorial, I'm going to guide you through Google My Business Insights, showing you how to find key insights and use them to connect better with your customers, understand your performance, and make informed decisions. We'll dive into everything from call insights to message trends, ensuring you get the most out of Google My Business. Plus, Discover how to view data from a year back to track your growth over time. Let's jump in and get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you are logged into your Google My Business account with your Google information. And once you are logged in, you can easily go to Google Business Profile or search for the name of your business. And you should be able to see this dashboard here once you are logged in and you are an admin for the business. You should be able to see this information here. Now, if you are looking to check your insights, there are a couple places you could look at it on this panel here. The first place is where it says customer interactions. If you click that, you will see your analytics and a time period of your performance. Another way to get to that is simply just to go to performance. It also gives you the same view. So in this instance, you could see that you have the time period on top here. So once you select that, you can see that we have access to our historical data from March 2024 to August 2024. If we just want to make it July or June, we could do that to August 24. Then we'll just have this amount of data. Likewise, we could choose March to May right here, and then you will have that amount of data. So you pretty much have six months to play with right here and i will show you later on how you can get access to more data over time now i'm going to click cancel here now once you click overview you get to see your business profile interactions as you can see here it says what are interactions interactions are when people call message make bookings ask for directions and more from your business profile on google so everything that's being done is being recorded here so between march 24 and August 24, these are the total interactions that have happened on the profile. Now, once you scroll down, this is where you have some great information. Now it shows you the amount of people that have viewed your business profile. It also shows you the platform and the device breakdown they've used to view your profile. So look at it here, platform and devices that people use to find your profile. So you get to see Google Search, Google Maps, Google Search, Google Maps, desktop and mobile. Now, if you look to the right here, this is another cool spot. This is where you get to see how you're being searched for and the terms that show your business profile in the search results. So you can see here it says advertising agency near Gilbert's, BizCrown Media, business marketing, digital marketing, digital marketing services. And once you click more, you get the opportunity to see a lot more keywords is what we would like to call it in this instance here. Why is this awesome? Well, let's say I want to target locally. I can go and copy a lot of these keywords and use it to create a blog so that people can find us based on these searches and actually locate our website as well. So that's why this is really important. It gives you an idea of what your customers are looking for to find you in your area. Now we can always go back here and you go also straight back to what we were seeing before. So that's the overview. Now what's next over here, I will scroll down a little is as you can see, it shows how to grow your business with Google claim your 1000 advertising credit. So you might have the opportunity to claim your ad credit here. It could be a thousand, it could be 500. It just all depends, but that's what this place is for. They are just advertising to you to get a thousand dollar advertising credit. Okay, now let's go into calls. Calls made from your business profile. As you can see here, there are no calls. We haven't made any calls from our business profile, but if we have made it, this is where you will see it. Now I will show you a local service that is our client that we post on their Google business profile, what you would typically see because they are a local service. They have a physical presence where people actually book and make calls for their service. So if I go over here and I go to calls, 
you will see over here. See that calls made from your business. And as you can see, it shows it right here. All right. The next one now you would see is messages over here. It says messages sent from your business profile. It also shows that right here. The next item is bookings. It also shows bookings made from your business profile. That's those that have gone to your business profile and actually booked one of your services. Likewise, the next one is directions. Direction requests made from your business profile. These are people that have viewed your location and are looking for a way to get to you. Next one is website clicks. It shows how many people have visited your website from Google My Business. Now, a main question that I get is how can I get data that's way past the last six months on Google My Business. As you can see here, it doesn't go past six months. And so I'm gonna show you how you can locate that data and get that report. So what you wanna do is go to the three icons that you see here next to Profile Strength. Once you select that, you want to go to Business Profile Settings. Under Settings, you want to go to Linked Accounts where it says see and manage link requests from other Google products such as Google Ads or Merchant Center. So when Linked Accounts opens up, you will go under Businesses and you should be able to see your Google business profile that you want the reports for right here. If you are an admin for several accounts, they will all show up here. Now, what you would then want to do is select that business that you want to get the reports for. Now, once you select the business, what you want to then do is go to actions on the right here. Under actions, you want to select insights. Under insights, you have time frames where you could choose seven days 30 days 90 days or a customized range and that customized range can go as way far back i believe as 18 months so let's see here or thereabout so you could see here february 2023 to 8 17 2024 and then you could download that report and then you'll be able to see all these insights that we just covered now after you click download you want to wait a while Till you see download ready here because you could lose your mind by just thinking it's going to be on your desktop and it's not there yet you still have to wait a while for it to populate and then you'll see download ready here and then select download once you select download you can see here that it's downloading it gives you an idea of how long it's taking to download and then you will have access to your reporting right here once you open up the file but that's how you can easily access your google my business insights for over six months up to 18 months i believe i hope this was helpful if it is like the video subscribe to our channel so you can always have access to helpful content that just makes your life easier till next time take care